Cancer, welcome to your reading. This will be a Celtic cross with clarifiers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get into it. Spirit, angels, guides, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Cancer's reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. So for the baseline, we're using the Cosmic Coven deck right here. And for the clarifiers, we'll be using the Neoteric feminine tarot all right cancer you're showing up with the knight of swords ready to take some swift action crossed by the two of pentacles the need for balance doing having a juggling act going on right here possibly some indecision definitely about balance in your foundation, we have the Three of Swords. This is heartache. This is right at the root cause of why we're here. Heartache, betrayal, sadness, crying, a lot of emotional pain. In your recent past, we have the Four, I'm sorry, the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is all about victory and winning and success and crossing the finish line and getting the recognition for your meeting your goal there in your focus the queen of cups she comes with her heart wide open with all the love and sweetness and support and forgiveness and all the good things in your immediate future the ace of cups a new opportunity to fill up that love cup and have joy overflowing in your life the energy supporting this reading the nine of pentacles this is independence doing just fine on your own you're abundant in your own garden you have all the resources that you need the energy influencing this reading that you may or may not be aware of the cosmic coven card I don't even remember what this is. I remember it's a unique card to this deck. <laughs> I'm going to have to pause the camera and look it up in just a second. Let's finish this layout. Uh, in your hopes and fears, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant. This could be a multitude of things, but whatever it is, it's a definite significant energy. Uh, it could have to do with marriage. It could have to do with your spiritual connection and alignment with your with yourself in alignment with yourself at a core level. Uh, it can also represent uh, authority and uh, traditions. So we'll see when we get to the clarifiers with that and the overall uh, outcome, the, the potential outcome of your reading is the five of swords. This is winning at all costs you're willing to make sacrifices even if you have to lose people or things or situations that you'd rather not give up along the way but in order to win whatever it is that you want you're willing to make some sacrifices there all right the overall energy of your reading cancer the four of wands this uh, speaks to the stability of a relationship, possibly a commitment, possibly a marriage. Again, we'll learn more as time goes on. And the reason that we're here, the magician, because you are in manifestation mode. Yes, you are. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause the camera for a second just while I get the guidebook to see what the Cosmic Coven card is again. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get the guidebook. Yeah, because it's an extra card. This is unique to this, uh, this deck, the Cosmic Coven. I'm going to read you exactly what it says. And it's really interesting because, this is, remember, this position is the outside influence that uh, you may or may not be aware of in your reading in this situation. It says, community, connection, and support. This mes the message of this card is simple. You are not alone. You are part of the Cosmic Coven now, and we're all here for one another. Reach out to your community of witches, wherever they may be in the world, and ask for their support and encouragement. We all need a little backup sometimes. So yeah, this is uh, your support from the uh, magical world. Yes. Okay. 
excellent so sorry for that little teeny tiny delay hopefully it didn't feel like anything since I hit pause <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and clarify this four of wands what about the stability of a relationship possibly a commitment possibly a marriage what does cancer need to know about the four of wands please And we have temperance. Balance and healing is needed. It's going to take patience. It's going to take time. Things done in moderation. Followed by the Eight of Pentacles. You are hard at work focusing on this. And the Three of Pentacles. This is the desire to get together with others to make plans to build something that brings stability. Okay, so this might be a work relationship. Speaking of the stability of it, or maybe it's a, uh, some sort of um, something you're working on, even in a relationship, even in a romantic one. Um, the stability of it is tied up to this balance and healing, working on it, focusing on it, and making plans together. Uh, not just you and the one other person, but it could be with others as well, helping to bring your plans to fruition. The reason we're here, the sun, the happiest card in the tarot, uh, speaking of joy and bliss and just the ultimate happiness and success here. Very nice. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're feeling. All right. Excellent. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords. This is how you're showing up, the Knight of Swords. Wanting to take action quickly. Why is the Knight of Swords here? What does Cancer need to know? All right, we've got the King of Cups and Judgment. Making a major decision from a, a balanced emotional place. Not reacting to our emotions, but responding well from our highest selves uh, with a major decision. And you want to do it quickly. And it's tied up to the Ace of Cups, which is coming up in your immediate future. A new opportunity to feel that love overflowing. Yes. Yes. You're definitely at work on something here. The Chariot, the vehicle to victory. It's the fastest moving vehicle. Boy, you're in a hurry, aren't you? <laughs> Always in a hurry. Uh, okay. The vehicle to victory. There's uh, lots of willpower and determination to get to your goal. Yes, there is. I can see that. And we know why, too, with the Ace of Cups there. All right. The Two of Pentacles crossing the Knight of Swords. Why is it here? Card of Balance. You're, you're doing a juggling act here. One foot in, one foot out, going back and forth, back and forth. Busy. Busy Two of Pentacles. Why is it here? Okay, Five of Swords. It's the potential outcome. It's... I'm doing all this juggling because I'm here to win at all costs. I don't care what it takes or who I have to say goodbye to in my life or what I have to say goodbye to. This is what I want. I want the stability. I want to make plans. And uh, I want this Ace of Cups. Okay. I believe you. Page of Wands. This is a new interest. This is uh, what you're giving your attention to now. It's There's a learning curve and you're in a hurry to learn it. <laughs> okay. And we have the Knight of Wands. Speaking of being in a hurry, you really do. You feel like this is a lot like the Knight of Swords. This is, you know, following your passions. Let's go. Go, go, go. It's go time. All right. The reason we're here, the star, because it's tied up to a divine wish and a dream. Something you want a whole lot. Yep. Everything's congruent so far. Let's take a look at this Three of Swords in your foundation. The root cause of... I don't know what's spawning this situation, I suppose. Three of Swords. There's been heartbreak. There's been betrayal. There's been a lot of sadness and a lot of um, just crying and sad emotions here. A lot of, a lot of heartbreak. Five of Pentacles. Uh, this is a card of abandonment. Feeling lack, lost, out in the cold, forsaken, forgotten about, or abandoned. 
or all of the above. Justice could have been a marriage. Justice can represent marriage. It's the desire to make things right, but there's heartbreak all over the place. Heartbreak, betrayal, and feeling forsaken and out in the cold and am I enough? I don't know if I have enough. What is it that I'm lacking? It's all those sorrows. But justice is, is uh, it could, like I said, it could be a marriage, but it's also a, a desire, a great desire for balance here, but heartbreak. Oh, and a tower. Yeah, no wonder there's all this heartbreak. This is a destabilizing event, something that just blows your mind and it just messes everything up. Shocking, but those type of energies are needed to shake things up in life so that we move forward move on yeah um it looks like this might have been a marriage that that went bad or some kind of some kind of relationship or something where you were trying to you know have things be fair and balanced but it just it just got all blown to bits all right and the reason we're here the two of swords it brought you to a place of indecision, overthinking, and not being able to see the full picture. This person has blinders on, either because they don't have all the information they need or because they just they didn't want to look at it. They didn't want to even look at it. They closed up their heart. It's too much pain. It's too much destabilizing energy. Uh, it's too much of this feeling of abandonment and lack. I just don't even want to look. I don't even want to make decisions around it. Blah, 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 blah. It's all yucky energy for sure all right let's take a look at the recent past with the six of wands this is victory and success and celebration of it feeling good six of wands why is it here the lovers this is a connection that's tied up to your heart that'll be on your heart forever no matter what the nine of cups the card of personal happiness and satisfaction personal wishes fulfilled yeah you were feeling pretty good for sure and the ace of wands this is an opportunity to, to take a bold and courageous action and you were successful in all of the above you were feeling really good you took a bold action with some kind of lovers connection tied up to your heart the big kind yeah wow the reason we're here the magician you manifested all of that in the recent past really nice and speaking of which by the way the magician is the reason why we're here you're manifesting again not just in the past but you're manifesting throughout this entire reading the reason why we're here all right let's take a look at the queen of cups up top in your focus yeah, it's hard not to have a Queen of Cups in your focus if you come up across a Queen of Cups and she's got her heart wide open and she's so supportive and loving. Ah, oh, it's beautiful energy. Why is the Queen of Cups in Cancer's focus? What do they need to know? Page of Swords. Time to get ready. Look at that lady in red. Get ready, pay attention. There's a lot to learn here with this Queen of Cups. And the King of Swords is here. The King of Swords is all about, look, it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg on this card. <laughs> I love it. This is all about making logical decisions. And death, endings and transformations. Hmm. I wonder what that is. What is it that you are looking to end and transform into with this Queen of Cups? Logical decisions? You want to make logical decisions with this Queen of Cups so that it works out in your favor here? Endings and transformations. Yeah, perhaps. The reason we're here Ten of Swords, a painful ending. Okay, so there may have been a breakup with this 
Queen of Cups energy. And sex on the card does not matter, male or female. It really doesn't matter. It's just the energy of the card. Um, yeah, it looks like there was a painful ending that, uh, that has happened. But you want to make some logical decisions. You're trying to learn from this situation. Uh, it's very much in your focus. Hence, it makes me look back over here. The overall energy, the stability of a relationship, it's, it's ended in some fashion. And you would like to rebuild the stability with this Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, to temper the situation, uh, to bring in balance and healing and, and a sense of moderation to whatever it is that you guys wanted to do together it, even though it's a painful ending it's a death to one aspect of it but it transforms into something else at least that's what's in your focus and you're trying to make logical decisions and learn everything that you can through this transformation okay okay in your immediate future the Ace of Cups. It's a new opportunity for love, a new opportunity to have your your love cup overflow with joy and happiness. Show us the Ace of Cups in Cancer's future, please. Immediate future. Ace of Cups. Why is it here? Two of Wands, where you're thinking long term about the future. And uh, just contemplating it. Which path do we take? What's the best way to go? The High Priestess. Calling in your intuition. Good. And the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. This is everything that you can manifest. Speaking of manifesting, the reason we're here. Everything that you can manifest. You want to put this Ace of Cups into your ten of pentacles in the bag score this is family this is uh who you love who you live with who you homestead with it's the kids the grandkids the dogs the house the hobbies the friends the toys the cars the boats it's all the manifestations in the ideal you want to put this new opportunity for love to overflow in your life uh you're thinking long term this could be somebody that you would like to marry and settle down with. Your high priestess is, wish, is whispering to you. Your intuition whispering to you. Incidentally, the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are both uh, Pisces cards. Pisces Court card back there and the High Priestess Pisces Major Arcana. Just in case you happen to be hanging around falling in love with one um so yeah i mean you're contemplating the future long term ten of pentacles ace of cups listening to your intuition or a pisces <laughs> that might be right for some of you guys out there uh the reason we're here perfect card it's congruent with your reading this is all about new beginnings new adventures putting ourselves out there taking a risk looks like you might be looking to get married uh you know settle down with someone start your family with someone have a new opportunity with them it's not that the person is new it's that you want a new beginning with them a new start with them that's what it seems like with the death and transformation uh card back there yep you're learning from this situation calling in the master to make the most logical decisions and transforming for new beginnings, new opportunities in love. I believe with that that Queen of Cups archetype. Uh, if not, it's someone new completely, but uh, I don't think so. I think it's them because that death card is so important talking about it's transforming into something else. It, there was a painful ending, but there's a transformation happening and it looks like you're doing everything you can to go after it, to facilitate it. Let's take a look at the energy supporting this reading, the Nine of Pentacles. This is being single. 
Nine of Pentacles is independence. It's on our own. It's uh, we're, we're doing just fine in the money, resources, and abundance department. But right here, uh, it's uh, supporting you being independent. Single. Why is it here? What does Cancer need to know about this card of independence? Card of being single. Maybe you guys, maybe the ending, maybe you guys broke up and are still in each other's lives and maybe right now you're single. Is that what this is possibly saying? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands showing up flipped up first and that is the wounded warrior so you've been hurt you feel like you've been through the battle you're, you're tired you're exhausted but uh but you're determined to persevere you're still healing you're you're feeling a little i don't know if i can trust everything here you're guarded ace of swords an opportunity for clarity and truth surrounding a ten of cups yes ten of pentacles ten of cups you take this ace if you nurture this ace this opportunity you're being given you can bring it all the way to a ten and this is blessings from above on the homestead this is who you live with who you love who you possibly get married to share your life with whatever you call family that's what this is truth and clarity so being single for a little while uh you lick your wounds nine of wands but you get this moment of clarity and truth when it comes to this thing that you want this ten of cups very good okay so eight of wands is the reason we're here because energy is moving very quickly there might be communication being had uh with this particular person going back and forth either way energy is starting to move uh, for sure because you're single but you're here getting clarity about exactly what it is that you want the truth and clarity is being given while while you're here on your own getting clarity and truth about this blessings on the homestead that is here for you trying to move the energy that's what it is you're getting truth and clarity how can I move this energy quickly in the direction that I want because we know you want quick. We got the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Uh, we saw the Chariot before. It's all quick. Quick, quick, quick. But if we look over at the overall energy of the reading, we have to remember Temperance is here saying, slow it down and uh, do things in moderation, not too fast. This is in moderation. Patience, time, balance over time brings the healing. All right, the Cosmic Coven card. This card of your witchy community, all things ethereal. Tap into it. It's here for you. It's supporting you. It's influencing the reading from the outside. You may or may not be aware of it, but of course you are because it's a tarot card reading. It's what we do. It's what we're about. It's what we're connected to, and this energy is supporting you. The Cosmic Coven. Why is it here? all right the hierophant could be about marriage could be about it's coming up next we get to clarify this hierophant anyway but i'm going to go over all the possibilities so uh it's all the levels of the highest levels of learning you see her here stacked up with all the books and uh she's in alignment with her highest self always she he doesn't matter it's all she in these decks all she's no he's but again it doesn't matter uh, it's only the energy that matters. So in your most connected self, you get the highest levels of learning. Page of Cups. This is very hopeful energy, very positive thinking, and it's a stage of learning, keeping our heart open to learning even more. Learning, learning, open heart, connected and in alignment and the six of wands brings victory this is like advice it's a message for you to stay in alignment keep your heart open and you'll be victorious the reason we're here yes look who it is the beautiful queen of cups guys beautiful queen of cups this this energy that you have your focus on uh it's either you or someone you're with but i think it's somebody that you were with because there was the painful ending and a transformation 
making logical decisions, learning. It's still, it could represent you as well. It could be either way. But here she is. She's back. And it's the reason we're here. Beautiful energy. Very loving. Very supportive. Uh, the heart is wide open. Always, always ready to forgive. A little too quickly at times. But nonetheless, she is just the most amazing, sweetest energy ever. All right, let's take a look at that Hierophant. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know about the Hierophant and the hopes and fears? Here it's about alignment, being in alignment with at your core, at your core level, at your spiritual level, at your core level, being in alignment. But it could represent something different here. Let's see what cards come out around it. Why is the Hierophant here? Okay, and we have the Four of Pentacles holding on tight. Holding on tight. Queen of Wands to your attraction. This is who you want to marry. That's what this is. Queen of Wands is your attraction. You're holding on tight to your attraction. And now we know that the Hierophant is marriage. And Seven of Cups. Looking at your options, looking at your choices. I don't know why this is coming up. Maybe you're looking for your Queen of Wands next. Maybe you are the Queen of Cups and it's your attraction that you're looking for. All these choices, all these people. I could marry any of them I want. I really want to get married though. That's what you're holding on to. I really want to have this commitment. Four of Wands, committed relationship. Whether it's marriage or or some other type of commitment that you live with ten of cups blessings family ten of pentacles you put it in your legacy of of manifestations in life hence we're here manifesting so it's all congruent i just think that queen of wands just represents your uh your choices of attractions you're just holding on. You want to get married. That's what it is. Or or some kind of major commitment. That's what this is. That Queen of Cups, I think, might actually be you. Experiencing painful endings. But transforming into your learning. Page of Swords. Learning mode. Take, you're taking a closer look at things. Of how you can make more logical decisions. Calling in Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The Queen. Or King of Swords, rather. Uh... Because all the kings are female in this uh, deck. I love it. I love these decks. I have had them for a while. This is the very, this is only the second reading I'm doing uh, to post. But I did a whole bunch of readings when I first got these two decks uh, for myself as, as I was working with the cards. And then I got a bunch of other decks and I, I put this aside for a minute. And I just pulled this, these out tonight. I did Pisces reading and now it's your reading. So I'm getting reacquainted with them. But I really love this deck combination a lot. Uh, I had a lot of fun working with it right from the get-go. And as I bring them out now and I'm getting reacquainted with, the, with them uh, here uh, and in Pisces reading, I just... Um, I really enjoy this deck and the artwork on them and that it's all both decks coming from completely different places and companies they uh they're all women in all the decks it's so cool at least i think they are actually this is a guy the knight of swords where there's very few men yeah yep that would be a man with his shirt open <laughs> okay anyway uh doesn't matter uh, the reason we're here, Knight of Cups, because you want to express your love. Yes. So the Queen of Wands just represents who we're attracted to in life or what we attract. And coming out with the Seven of Cups next, that's what lets me know that you're the Queen of Cups <clears throat> back there. And that showed up as the underlying, the reason we're here. You're the Queen of Cups. You're that beautiful energy with the heart wide open and you just want love. This is showing you want to express your love. You would like to have a committed relationship, committed relationship, committed relationship, committed relationship. So as your reading unfolds, I can tell who's who and what's what a lot better. And uh, 
yeah, you got a lot of options. Uh, you're holding on tight to this idea of this commitment with someone that you're very attracted to. And like I said, look at all these cups. Look at all of these cups. They look delicious. Every single one of these cocktails looks yummy. Normally on the Seven of Cups, there are some cups that are filled with things that we don't want. But on this card, you seem to like all the options that show up. I mean, I do. They look yummy. <laughs> and the Queen of Wands is that yummy kind of attraction, okay? Um, like I said, Four of Pentacles, holding on tight. You're not letting go of this idea. You want your commitment, okay? Got it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the final card, Five of Swords. Speaking of wanting something, this is winning at all costs. Whatever it takes, you say, I want what I want and I'm going to get it one way or another, come hell or high water. I don't care. There might be more painful endings. There might be more, more things going on. I'm trying to learn to make the best decisions. Moving forward, I'm open to learning, open to learning, trying to keep my heart open trying to stay connected at my core values to what I want and uh, and here we are five of swords I'll do whatever it takes show us the five of swords what does cancer need to know about this five of swords as a potential outcome okay very cool it spun around and did like a 360 and came back around upright again ace of pentacles opportunity to build stability it's just a seedling here you would have to nurture this and take care of it and put in the work looks like you want to do that with the eight of pentacles over here you put in the work you're gonna win but it will take work that's one of the sacrifices okay four of swords this is taking a time out to get our thoughts straight taking a break taking a rest in other words you may need to not be in such a hurry. Knight of Swords, Chariot, Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands we saw. Uh, you may need to slow things down and take a time out, take a breather, and get your thoughts straight. It's a winning combination. You'll have to sacrifice a little bit of time. Slow it down. And the King of Pentacles, the master manager of all the manifestations. And that's what we're here doing, remember? manifesting that's the mode that you're in and this guy manages everything that gets manifested in a mastery level mastery skill level he's rely he it's a she on the card sorry uh just used to saying he when a king shows up but uh this one's you know all business and focused on uh focused on the pentacles you you want to manifest this you want to manifest this relationship and you're going to do whatever it takes to do so. And with the king at a mastery level, I believe you're going to do it. Winning at all costs. There's no sacrifice there with the king. Just in needing to take a break sometimes and put in the work. Put in the, all the ingredients that are needed to protect that ace of pentacles so that you can turn that ace into the ten, which is what? The ace of cups. So it's really the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Cups that you can put in your treasure chest when you attain it. When you turn that Ace into, that singular Ace into, into this, into this relationship that you want. The reason we're here. Yes! Thank you, Spirit. I love it. Isn't it so cool how congruent Spirit is? It's the whole reason we're here. This is what you're manifesting. This is what you're manifesting. And you're going to do it. You're so focused on it, you're going to do it. As long as you keep your heart open, Queen of Cups, and you're willing to learn, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, um, and, uh, and make really masterful decisions that are from logic, not always from emotion, but from our logical mind, as you transform the endings that you've experienced back here at your foundation and moving forward sometimes, uh, the endings that you've experienced as you transform them uh, into these winning experiences of what you want. You're very focused on it. I believe you're going to get it. The magician says so. The magician says you have everything that you need. You have all the tools, all the resources, all the knowledge, and the experience, and the support. The whole cosmic coven is supporting you. 
All right. That's what we have. Please like, share, subscribe, add a comment down below. And uh, I look forward to reading for you guys next time. Take care.